up everybody, Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake here. I have my February Vinegar Syndrome package has arrived. It has the subscriber package, the partner labels I ordered, and the um, Valentine's Day sale stuff in here. So we will check it out right now. Carefully here. Let's start with the main title, or their big, like, huge release for the month, which is Drop Dead Fred. Man. Uh, yes, I'm excited to get this one. It's cool to finally have it on Blu-ray. Uh, I'm not, like... A die-hard fan of this movie or anything, but I was gonna get the release from Severin, I think it was, who initially put it out. But here it is, and I'd say that this slip cover is actually pretty fucking weak, to be honest. I'm, I'm not a not a big fan of that slip at all. But this is just the regular cover. Oh. Looks like we get a book with this one. So I guess that's pretty cool. Not normally in like our standard limited edition release. Is that just... Is it like just a slip cover? Does this have? Oh, it does. Obviously, I'm not going to change it because that is the slip. And what's the point of having the both the slip and that on there? Overall, this is this is actually probably the one I'll watch first, just because it's one I won't have an issue getting other people to watch. So. Well, we'll see about that. All right. Next is Sister Sister. I know absolutely nothing about this movie, so slipcover looks promising. I know that the slipcovers can be deceiving, but So, sister, sister. Oh, this has a book in it, too. What? Huh? Oh, this is one that just came with the package, so like I said, I didn't really look into it because I was getting it anyway with the subscription. Um, I'm gonna switch that. But it could be good. Jennifer Jason Lee, Eric Stoltz. Time will tell. Uh, next up is 
Beware, Children at Play. I've heard this movie's terrible. I'm, I'm inclined to believe that critique. Man, this slip's glued like shit. Look at that. You see that? That's awful. Whatever. I know nothing about this movie. It's got a cool cover, like the whole kid on the milk carton thing, so... It's, again, it's one that came with the... I really dig that. I really dig this... This cover, so... I'm gonna switch it to that. Yeah, it's not too high up on my, uh, to watch list, but I thought I had this focus thing figured out the other day, but I guess not. This is really fucked. Like, let me know if your guys' slips were that misglued. I just had a slip from uh, another boutique label. I don't remember which one it was. But theirs was glued completely wrong. It was actually like behind that, so it was all sticky right there. But they already sent me a replacement. It's on the way, so there's that at least. Um, and the last like Vinegar Syndrome title four, like this, like the main Vinegar Syndrome title is this one, which is the VSA for the month, and it's Wolfpack. And this is a movie that I believe I have seen like a long, long time ago, but like it's been so long, I probably, it, it'll be just like a first time watch for me, but really cool cover, really cool like slip cover art this is that's really just bold and the poster looks I mean like I said these are always fucked up so they're always fucked up like that but I'm not gonna pull it all out it looks like it's just the that right there so no nope, I'm gonna leave the alternate cover on there because that just looks really cool to me. Whatever. Okay. So, that is like the main releases for February. Pre-sale, I should say. Um, now, I did order um, four of the partner labels for this month, starting with this one from Fun City Editions, obviously. Like, I always get the Fun City Editions no matter what. Uh, I don't know how much, how great this one's gonna be, but it's definitely not my normal, you know, movie. But looks like they got nudity right on the cover of this one. At least it's censored out there, so I don't have to worry about it. And before I... Yeah, that one's not bad either. Uh, also, Fun City always has a book inside.
Can't decide. I think I like the other cover more, to be honest. This one looks like those old VHS tapes. Oh well. Okay, so there's that one. We also got Blood on Her Name, which is from Yellow Veil Pictures. And this just looked fucking badass, so I, I mean, like, look at that cover. She's standing there with a wrench and just looks fucking cool. Um, yeah. I think this might be the first movie I bought from Yellow Veil. I, don't quote me on that. I don't. I'm not 100% sure, but this one just looked really, really cool. Yeah, I don't care so much about that. Also got a book. Lots of reading material in this one. This is obviously a newer movie. But it looks sweet. Look, I, I'm really excited for this one. So, hopefully it doesn't let me down. Maybe it'll lead me to buy more of these Yellow Veil pictures. I don't know, maybe I did buy one of these. I think I might have got one in the last month's package. But I can't remember for the life of me what one it was. Next up is Tragedy Girls. This one's from Gunpowder and Sky. To make an omelet, you have to kill some ex-boyfriends. It just looks cool. I mean, like, it's a new, another newer movie. This looks very retro, though. I'm, I'm really into it. I think this one came out in 2017 or something. Yeah, 2017. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this... This one looks cool. It's got Craig Robinson in it. I didn't know that. Yeah, so... To be fair, I said that other one might be the first one I watched. This... This... I'm, I'm really vibing this right now, so I might put this in after I'm done here, so... We will see. Really cool slip. And the last partner label is... Another one from Culture Shock, which is The American Scream. Really sweet slip, embossed, everything, like, really into that. Culture Shock, I got one from them last month, which was, uh, I want to say Girlfriend from Hell. Yeah, Girlfriend from Hell, so... That wasn't disappointing, so I'll probably, this will probably be one where I buy them all too, so. I think it's, this one's the seventh release or something like that. But they just started, like, as a partner label from Vinegar Syndrome. With, I think Girlfriend from Hell was the first release. And that one inclines me to buy them all, so. Hopefully they keep putting them out and putting these killer fucking slip covers with them. Like that slip is badass. The joke's on you. Alright, and oh, I got my 
Flesh for Frankenstein replacement disc. So that's cool. Um, they threw in a patch, it looks like. Random. But now we will jump to the Valentine's Day sale shit that I bought, which were actually two Picaramas. The first Picaramas I ever bought from the label. I don't normally buy them. I'm, I just have very little interest in them. But obviously, Dracula Sucks had to be bought. That cover is sick. This is just... It, this is just fucking cool. John Holmes is in it. Like, it's in 4K. Like, I had to get this. I, it, and I don't think I don't think it'll start me on a path of buying like a ton of Picaramas because, like I said, I just don't have a whole lot of interest in it. But this is one that I think will be heavily entertaining. Uh, what's the reverse look like? Nah. Like, it's got a reverse in there, which is just, like, a painting that's meh. I'm not into it, so I will keep it on like this. But, yeah, it's, uh, finally, finally they, they got me to buy one. I almost bought one with Debbie Does Dallas 2 or whatever, but it just, it's just, I mean, it's Dracula sucks, man. It looks fucking cool. And I also got the reissue of Corruption, which I've been meaning to pick up, and I didn't have it in my collection, obviously, because it's Picarama, but... Let's open it up. I heard that this one's good, like a genuinely good movie. I don't know how accurate that is. But it's definitely one that's come up from time to time, so... I figured what the hell, I'd grab it. You can bet your ass I'm putting that cover on there. But those are my, uh, uh Picarama. So those are my first two ventures into the Picarama, so. But there is one other title I got, which was obviously Madman, the 4K release of this. I do have the Blu-ray already, because I was expecting a legacy slip for that realistically any time and they just never came out with it so here is the 4k and now we'll probably never get a legacy slip for just the blu-ray now that this is out I, maybe i'm wrong but i don't know how much sense it would make so and i actually haven't watched this yet so i will definitely be getting around to watching it now This artwork is awesome. I usually like the dude designs, so. In fact, I don't know if there's a single cover he's made that I didn't like. Well, let's see what the reverse is. The reverse, the old cover? Yeah, the reverse is just this cover. So, I'm not gonna pull that out. I'm gonna tuck this back up in there, though, because it's. But yeah, I mean, like, everyone's been, like, wanting a slip for this, so it's cool that it finally got one. I'm a little, I mean, like, I never buy copies without the slips, and I actually bought the standard edition of this because I expected a legacy slip. So I'll probably end up giving that away to someone at some point down the road, now that I have this on 4K. But, um, that is, that is it. So, uh, I... I don't have anything else to say. Basically, I got a shit ton of movies to watch now, so I guess I will commence the movie watching experience and you guys can uh, 
Like this video if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, you know, or if you haven't subscribed and you're just new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, but that's it for me, so until next time, have a good day.